Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing a video game action figure, but not just any video game action figure. This is a... Destiny figure of a video game character called Ikora Ray, and yes, yeah, she has Ray in her name, like the Star Wars character Ray Skywalker. But before we look at the figure itself, I don't know much about Destiny because I've never played the game, but some of the figures look very awesome and very cool looking. But yeah, it's a cool looking toy. And I got it for a buck at a yard sale, so you can't beat that price. No, sir. It's a deal. But now it's been a minute, let's look at the packaging. As you can see, my packaging on this one is pretty beat up. This did come from a yard sale, so the box is very well beat up, as you can see. Man, this box has seen better days. But it does show you all the other figures in the line to pick up. You got Titan, got this guy, that guy. Other than that, it's a cool looking line. But now that we're done with the box, we're going to dump Ikora Ray out of the box. And move the box off to the side. And she does come with this nice display stand that has Destiny 2 on it. That's pretty cool. But now we're going to look at the figure itself. She can't stand up very well, so that's why I'm holding on to her. She got this cool energy-based shotgun, so you can be like... Pew, pew. It's like something out of Star Wars or Resistance Fall of Man. It's just so cool. In case you're wondering what Resistance Fall of Man is, it's a video game that they did 3 to. And this gun gives me off that kind of vibes by the way it looks, man. This is just so cool. Articulation. She does have bend at the knee. But on my copy, she's very tight in some places, and I'd rather not risk breaking her. Otherwise, a good-looking figure. And yes, she is a black character. And I'm not racist or anything like that. I wouldn't say that to someone like her, to her face. But this figure is just so cool that I just love her her for herself but man look at that paint and that sculpting it's amazing but if i put her on the shelf with my other video game action figures i'm gonna have to leave her on the stand because she doesn't stand up very well but to show her standing up before we get on to comparison with another ray i have we're gonna get her standing on her stand come on ikura ray stand up but now, here is Ikora Ray, next to Ray Skywalker, from Star Wars, Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and, of course, the, the Dark Empire. So yeah, this is a good-looking figure, I love this figure, and she looks great right next to Ray Skywalker, Ikora Ray. You look awesome. I look forward to adding you to my video game shelf. You are amazing. And the articulation is. Now we're done with that comparison. Let's look at articulation with her arms. Arms are on hinges so you can get some movement. But it's range movement because of the clothing. If it wasn't for the clothing, I'd fall in love with this figure more. Articulation is very good. No, no uh, hinge joints at the wrists, which is a real shame. No articulated fingers. Head is on a ball joint, but it's super tight on my copy, and I just don't want to break her. She looks that amazing that I'm definitely going to leave her on the shelf like this. And for some other video game comparisons, I'm going to go dig out some of my favorite video game comparisons. Because... If I'm doing a video game figure, I gotta have some comparisons. Here is another McFarlane figure I own. The McFarlane Space Marine. And yes, a Kura Ray is smaller than a Space Marine. 
because they're bulky and armored. But she's still pretty cool. And now with my favorite video game, here's Gears Judgment. Dom, next to Ikora Ray. I like her and I like him. So she'll make a nice addition to my deluxe class video game figures. One final comparison is going to be one I reviewed in the past. It's Huggy Wuggy from, you know what I mean, that one video game. Why not? Why not do those comparisons? And now I'm going to, before I end this video, next week we'll be going to Rossi's Flea Market, so we won't be doing a toy haul until after I get back, and I got some stuff from my birthday and some stuff I've been gathering, but other than that, I look forward to what I find at Rossi's Flea Market and the Lincoln Way Hub Antique Mall. I look forward to showing you a complete toy haul when I show it off, but now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.